Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I would like to take you through a workflow using the Autodesk Civil Engineering Data Translator. The goal for today is to export project data from Civil 3D so that it can be read into Bentley Geopack. We will also import Bentley Geopack formatted data into Civil 3D and show the results. So let's get started. To give you a little background, we will cover two different workflows today. The first workflow is to export a Civil 3D drawing to Bentley Geopack, and the second workflow will be to import project data provided in Bentley Geopack format into Civil 3D. We're using a sample drawing for the conversion today to represent the conversion and later on the comparison. So let's look at our Civil 3D model and see, check out the data that's inside of it. So we've got an existing ground surface. We've got some parcels out here. We've got an alignment that is uh, representing horizontally where our corridor is laying. And we've got a, a profile here that has a finished grade vertical profile in it and our existing ground and uh, some other things, some pipes and things of that nature. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take our Civil 3D model and convert the data to or convert the design data to Geopack format for the outside team member. So first thing, first thing we'll do is close the drawing. And then I'm going to select Toolbox and go to the Subscription Extension Manager. That's where the Autodesk Civil Engineering Data Translator will be installed. And we're going to export to Bentley Geopack. First thing we'll need to do is, is to log in using our Autodesk ID. So I'm going to do that real quick. This is because the conversion is going to happen in the cloud. I'll go back and select my Civil 3D model. And it pushes the, the file to the cloud. Just to check on that, I'm going to open my job monitor. And it's going to show that I've pushed that model to the cloud. The type of conversion is going to be Civil 3D to Geopack, and it is in progress. Now, I've got some jobs that I've pushed up in the past, and I can delete those. So I'm going to go ahead and select one and delete it. I'll delete all three. Now we just need to wait for it to change from a status of in progress to complete. So now that the status has is, is come back and says it's complete, we can step over to the result row and select download. We can download this either to our local machine or you could download it to your server. So let's go to our download location. I'm going to put it under data conversion and just export to Geopack. So it downloads the information that's been converted in the cloud and I can select the folder that comes up next to the result and it will open the folder that I downloaded it to. So there's an Excel worksheet that comes in if we double click on that worksheet we can see that it has brought alignments and profiles and surfaces and parcels. So now we will go through the second workflow and import Bentley Geopack information into Civil 3D. So I'm going to go back to my data conversions and you can see that I've I've brought the information in from either an email or or however they've delivered it and stuck it in a folder. So I'm going to double click on import Bentley Geopack project data and I'll go back to my data conversions and I'm going to start off by converting the, the .gpk file. It asks me if it's imperial or metric. I'm going to use the imperial selection because that's the, the unit type that I used and it has pushed that pro or that job to the to the cloud. So I'm going to open up the job monitor I'll be able to see that it is in the cloud. It's in progress, stage one of two. So we'll come back to it. I'm going to go ahead and push the other Geopack information for the surfaces. So I've got my existing ground surface. I'll push it to the cloud. I just want to bring in the contours and triangles. And I'll go ahead and push the finish grade surface that they sent back. Same thing, I'll bring in the contours and triangles and create a snapshot. Now if I open my job monitor, you can see that all three of these jobs are in, the pro in progress. Um, so we just wait for them to convert and then move to the next step. As you can see, things are starting to populate here under result. So I'm going to go ahead and I've got one of the surfaces I can download, but I'm going to configure 
uh, the .gpk file for, so that it'll go ahead and, and work into stage two. So I'm going to hit configure mapping and I need to assign my profiles to the alignment that they should be associated with. So I'll do that and hit OK. It pushes it back for stage two. So we can see that the results are now ready for download. So I'm going to just go ahead and download those. So I'll drop down to a folder I've created called Import Geopack and download the first one, the second one, and the third file. Now, again, it creates a, it shows a folder here next to the results, so I can click on the folder and I'll be able to see, since I downloaded all of them to the same folder, I'll be able to see the results. So let's go ahead and select the drawings to check and see what we, what kind of data we have. So I'll go ahead and open all of them at the same time here. After they're open, we can toggle through the three files that I that I've uh, that I've opened up, and you can see that we have an existing ground model that they've shipped back to us. So we can look at that in the object viewer, and you can see that it is a civil 3D surface. We have opened up the finished grade surface that they've uh, maybe corrected, so you can also see that that is a civil 3D surface, and we can open the job 100 uh, drawing that was provided. You can see that we've got the alignments uh, that was exported out uh, before, well, actually that was sent back to us. And you can see the parcels have come back in. Now, we don't see the profiles, but we can come up and go to our profile view and we can quickly add that information back in. So here's our existing ground profile and our layout. I'm just gonna change the style real quick so you can see that there is a difference, label of the finished grade, and I'll stick the profile out. So you can see the data has been pushed back to us so that we can start to put it back into our plan set and utilize the changes that we have gotten from our outside design source. So as you can see, in a short amount of time, you can export project data from Civil 3D to Bentley Geopack or Bentley Inroads and import Bentley Geopack or Bentley En-ROADS data back into Civil 3D. I thank you for taking the time today to watch this presentation and hope that you have a great day.